A pleasure to me all at last, and welcome back to some more HJN Get Creative. And now, what we're going to do here is talk about the hammer for number 2325. Yeah, who would have thought I'd finally get to the hammer, but it's another tool that I feel like needs to be highlighted probably early. Anyways, the hammer is also a common use in many different applications and also has plenty of different iterations, much like that of the screwdriver or even the saw. The hammer, of course, has its own standard design, which is usually a large wood stock that's typically 10 to 12 inches long and has itself a head, typically made of iron or steel, that usually ends in a large flat head, almost like that of a fist. With a back end, typically ending in two large arcs with a small gap in between. This typically is meant for the process of grabbing nails out of walls while the head is used to drive the nails into place. Unlike that of a screwdriver, which would be used as a means of putting screws into the wall, which of course is a whole different story and something I've already mentioned. There of course were other variations of the hammer, as I just said, including the almighty sledgehammer which is probably considered one of the most impressive tools to date. It was commonly used way back in the days of railroading, but as of today, there doesn't appear to be too much you can do with a sledgehammer, apart from some metalworking. And the hammer, of course, does have its own usage in metalworks, but that itself is an entirely different subject. For the most part, the hammer can be used for nails, in the same way that the screwdriver can be used for screws. So I feel like enough has been said on both cases. I'll pretty much move on with some more material starting tomorrow, but until then, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, follow me wherever you can find me, and stay on the Hollywood side if you would like to see more.